Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. In case you hadn't noticed, the topic of my speech, or the subject of my speech, is Michael Jackson. The title of my speech is Michael and Me. I'm coming from the Conflict Communicator's Manual, speech number two. The purpose of speech number two is to organize your speech. And the purpose of my speech is to just give brief comments on how Michael Jackson has influenced my life and made a big impact on my life, starting as a little child. The method that I will use will be chronological. What I'm going to do is go back in time, back to when I was a little boy, back to when Michael first hit the scene, and give comments about how he affected me as a little boy, and bring it forward to his tragic ending just recently. In 1970, Michael Jackson hit the world scene, the American scene in music. I was six years old at that time, and Michael was mesmerizing. At that time, I had done the normal things that children do. I had played and done, you know, they've all gotten into all the little trouble that as much as a six-year-old could do. <laughs> <laughs> but all of a sudden, I hear about this young man named Michael Jackson and the Jackson Five. And when I used to see those guys on TV, I used to, because back in those days, they didn't have MTV or BET or they didn't have 24 hour music. And back in Des Moines, Iowa, I remember we, we had just a few radio stations and I remember distinctly you could only hear Mike, and I didn't, I didn't have enough money to buy the records. So what I would do was, it would be amazing to listen. And when I heard the sound on the radio it was, wow, Michael Jackson, A, B, C, the love you sang. All those songs were magical. And they impacted me in such a way. Michael was such a unique person. And as, as a young kid, as a young African-American male, we had, we'd never seen anything like that. We'd never seen anything. anything. So he did make a, a huge impact on me. And from that time forward, I followed his career endlessly. Uh, I watched him, and I watched him mature. I watched him grow. He was a, definitely a unique talent, a unique force in the world, something that we had never seen before. We've seen people do this, but not, not a little kid. And I guess that's what amazed me the most of all was, I'm a little kid. This guy's a little guy, too. And here he is, <laughs> bending around and doing all these great moves, and I was just mesmerized by this guy. So we move forward in time. Um, you know, they, they had their big hits, and, you know, they had the, the bell-bottom pants were in, the afro was in, and, you know, all the kids were trying to grow I had an apple back then, believe it or not. I, I can't go one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I had an apple. I had an apple. And there was, a, there was an obvious comparison. I mean, everybody, I remember, everybody wanted to be Michael. We would practice the movies. We would try to spin. Well, I didn't, be, I didn't become like Michael. He kept, he kept on improving, though. And, he, and I guess the, the biggest thing that amazed me about Michael was that he, he was a prodigy. He started out excellent. And... You know, after a few years, they, they kind of lost popularity in, in the mid-70s, and they came back with some big, big hits. But they, the, he, he amazed me because he kept improving. Every few years, he would improve. He would come out with a new song. And I remember distinctly, now we're getting into the middle 70s, and I remember Dancing Machine came out, and that was a really big hit in the inner city. It was a big hit all over America. I remember everybody was trying to do the robot. <laughs> Michael, like I said, he's, he is so mad. He was so magical. He moved like glass, like water. And I just remember watching that and being mesmerized by that. 
And then as we move forward in time, they, they, you know, they continue to grow. And I guess, you know, in Michael's early years, before he started to change, and people started to look at him as weird, he, he really was stellar. I mean, his, the first half of his career was stellar. We get to the 80s, and of course, who can forget? Uh, 1982, I, I graduated from uh, high school in 1982, and um, Thriller was starting to come out at that time. Uh, I remember I went to the military, 17 years old, I joined the military, and I, I remember on the, the MTV was starting to come out big, and wow, I came back home to South NASCAR, and I remember distinctly watching the show Motown 25, and we hadn't seen Michael in a while. Back the last time we were seeing him, he had an afro, and boy, when he came out with a different hairstyle and a different look and a white glove, and I was like, man, this was this was truly mesmerizing. And when I saw him do that moonwalk, you know, the the rest was history after that. Um, I'm saddened at the loss of Michael. I, I really think we collectively have lost a treasure. I know he did some strange things and he became eccentric in his life, but he truly blessed the world with his talent. He gave beyond what most people give. He was dedicated, and he dedicated his life to improving his art. He also was a huge humanitarian. He gave, he set records. In fact, Sheila Jackson Lee uh, wanted to give him, uh, uh, appoint him as one of the most giving entertainers. He's given millions uh, uh, to charity. So we have really lost a great person in Michael Jackson. And I guess, I'm not the biggest, I'm, I think I'm the biggest Michael Jackson fan, although I don't, some people dress up like Michael. I, I, I don't, yeah, but one, one thing I would do is, I would Google Michael constantly, every day, Michael Jackson, while he was alive. And I, I would Google just to see, because I was in anticipation of his next album. I, a lot of people took um, his career to heart. They were like, they felt like brothers, kinship to him. And the ones that did followed him, and I was looking forward to his comeback. I seen the, the trials that he had went through, and, and, you know, and I really wanted him to make a big comeback. So I think we all are at a loss now. And, but now we have the movie coming out just next week, and I'm looking forward to that. It's, it's tragic that it had to happen this way. He had so much more in him. He wanted to do movies. He wanted to do so much more. He, he really would have done that. I think that this album and this tour would have put him back on top. It, and I mean, the record shows the concert sold out in just a few minutes. So. I, I miss Michael, and he's been a, made a big impact on my life. 